So I'm sitting here with this Glock 17. It's a great gun for concealed carry, but it's worthless if you don't have the right holster. Now there's no such thing as a one size holster that's going to work for everyone. Over the years, we've made a lot of mistakes and you guys have let us know what makes a great holster for both the appendix carry and behind the hip. A comfortable Glock 17 holster is going to be well-rounded so it sits comfortably against the body. A lot of Glock 17 holsters have uncomfortable, sharp, and pointy edges that become really painful to carry. One time I was driving three hours down I-40 to see my grandma, and I figured I'd use that time to test a prototype holster. This is before I learned about how important it was to round a holster for comfort. I was driving between Burlington and Greensboro going by Elon when a sharp pain from a hot spot just hit me. Anybody that knows that part of I-40 knows the traffic often moves very fast, but it's also very crowded. So that pain was making it dangerous for me to drive, so I had to get off the next exit and take care of the holster. Like everybody else, I've had multiple concealed carry holsters where I couldn't do simple tasks like bending down to tie my shoes or grab something off the ground without extreme pain. So that's why we've rounded the infiltrator so it's comfortable to wear when you're doing these tasks. Clint Smith said, carrying a gun should not be comfortable, it should be comforting, but that doesn't mean that your Glock 17 holster has to be uncomfortable. When I was new to concealed carry, the second concealed carry holster I ever bought had the ability to choose your ride height and can. The unfortunate reality is at that time, I didn't know which ride height and can was gonna work for me. It also changes up from gun to gun, and it's not gonna be the same for every person out there. It's gonna be different for everybody. That's why the infiltrator has three quarters inch of adjustable ride height and 30 degrees of adjustable can. That adjustable can really comes in handy when you're trying to conceal the gun behind the hip. We ship the holster without the clip mounted, so it's easier for you to figure out your optimal ride height and can't. So this holster is gonna take a little bit of time for you to dial in, but if you're not the type of person who's willing to do that, then I wouldn't buy this holster. A couple of Glock 17 holsters on the market these days do have limited adjustment. The problem is they use round hardware, and round hardware can be easily become stuck. We used to get a lot of customer emails complaining about how they couldn't loosen or tighten their hardware because it had become stuck. And this is a major issue. If you don't have the right tools like an angled screwdriver, which most of us don't, then you can't fix this problem. So we took this customer feedback and we started using square nuts which fit inside channels inside the holster that keep the square nuts from rotating when you're making your adjustments. It makes adjustments super simple. When I first started carrying, I was constantly concerned that everybody knew I was carrying a gun. It felt like every room I walked into, there was a billboard outside that said, hey, this guy has a gun on him. And that just wasn't the case. But still, I needed something that would effectively conceal the larger guns I was carrying, the size of something like this Glock 45. After doing some research, I found out about holster wings and claws. A holster wing is a device that uses tension from the belt to pull the grip of the gun closer to the body. These are most commonly used for appendix carry. At first, like every other holster company, we sold generic bolt-on wings. You, the customer, gave us feedback about snagging and issues with discomfort due to the sharp and hard corners on these wings. We listened and built a snag-free wing that was built into the holster, and it also made it a lot more comfortable because it didn't have those sharp edges, and it made the profile of the holster much more narrow, which really improved comfort for appendix carry. A couple of years back, a detective that did undercover work reached out to us because he was using a very popular holster that was unfortunately coming out with the gun when he draw, when he wasn't using a belt. This is obviously unacceptable. Discrete carry concepts designed to clip so secure that it'll work with and without a belt. So that's what we use on our infiltrator holsters since it's the best on the market. The infiltrator is an easy to use, comfortable, secure, and concealable Glock 17 holster. You can purchase in the link below so you can take charge and carry with confidence.